We always say that knowledge is free and open for everyone, but in reality, it's always restricted because of the copyright laws. I'm not a lawyer myself, uh, I'm a community manager and, uh, and documentary filmmaker, but I face this problem every, uh, every single time I try to use someone else's work. So copyright uh, as a restriction to creative work has been stopping a lot of free expressions has been stopping a lot of people to share something that they create widely with the rest of the world. Uh, and the alternative to that is Creative Commons. It's not the only alternative, but it's probably the best alternative in my opinion. And Creative Commons used to be uh, just a, a bunch of licenses, but now it's a community. Uh, it's made up with a lot of people like you and me. And Creative Commons as a, as a collective, as a, as a community is trying to recreate its original chapters. There used to be a structure in India and that structure has been revamped. In India, it's gonna be Creative Commons India chapter. And uh, there are a few volunteers like me who are trying to kind of contribute to this and then bring people like you who are watching this video to come forward and join this community. And I, I personally wanna invite all of you to join this movement, to join the India chapter and be part of it and uh, if you want to if you want to be part of the creative commons global network then you can sign up below so once you fill that you select two people who could vouch for you uh, who are already the creative commons uh, global uh, network member and we're doing two meetings one in delhi and one in bangalore on uh, september 1st uh, if you want to be part of those meetings please uh, join us if you can't join in person you can join online and uh, there is a link below. Uh, you can go there, sign up. You will receive the information about how to join in person or online. And on September 1st, we will discuss how to form the creative or how to reform the Creative Commons India chapter. Thank you so much.